Hello, Hans here. In this video, I'm going to build a very simple ideogram API image generator. So you can batch create a lot of images and you can integrate this into multiple other automations if you want to. I own Scale by Tech and we do a lot of automations. So um, let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to move my head over here. Then I'm going to go through our setup here. I have created a data sheet in AI tables. You can use air tables. You can use base row, whatever you want. You can even use uh, Google Sheets, but I'm going to use AI tables because that is what I do. So we are going to have a keyword. So when we generate images, we want something text based, some like we need something to start with. So we have a keyword here and I've gone with animals because why not? Then the second row here is a button. This button triggers this automation here. So this is an automation where it says when button is clicked, then we will send a webhook and the webhook will be sent to a URL and appended to that, we will add the record ID and a keyword. So we'll just send the keyword out with this webhook request and it is post. We don't have the webhook yet, so uh, let's continue. I then have an attachment field, which is called image. And then I have a generated prompt field, which is a long text. Because in the automation, we're going to use an AI node to generate the prompt um, to get consistency. If you don't want that and want to have just the prompt, you could do that as well. But I, I've done it this way to add some AI into the mix. And then I'm going to pull out the prompt so we can look at like uh, the images here and then the prompts and see like what prompts were good. And we might be able to update our AI um, model or AI prompt generator later on with examples. So if we get some really good images with some, some of these prompts, we then use them over there. But this is the simple setup. Keyword, trigger, and then we get an image back plus the prompt that is used. Awesomeness. So I will head over to make and I will create a new scenario. You should know how to do this. I just called it simple ideogram. And then I'm going to set the first one as a webhook, custom webhook, I'm copy my name over here, click add, paste that in, move my head and click save. Then going to copy this address to the clipboard, go back and I'm going to add that over here. And uh, not mark, there we go. Paste that in, click save. So now when we click the button, we send a request to this webhook here and it's gonna send this data here over to make. Let's enable our automation, go to ideogram and let's uh, click here, generate. There we go. Execution fail, why did that happen? Run once, let's see if it fails again. Then I might've been doing something wrong. That was just random error. So we get our webhook here with the record ID. We need that to update back into AI table. And then we get <clears throat> the keyword cow. Awesomeness. First thing we will do is we'll add an open AI node for a prompt completion. And then I've already written a prompt because it's not fun to see people write long prompts. Um, but I am going to take the keyword from over here and inject that in to the prompt that we have. And I'm going to try a new prompting system here and let's see how that works. So first we have a system prompt. I like to use system prompts um, just to set the AI in the right direction. So your task is to create a detailed image description around the topic that is referenced down here. You always create the image description as if describing it to a blind person. This is the new thing I would like to try. Like, will this help with our automated image or prompt generation? So describe the image so a blind person can imagine it. And yeah, I just the other day thought of like, why don't we add this? So it isn't like feely thingy where it, like when you describe an image to an image generator, being as objective as possible is key unless you're just doing fluffy stuff, but 
Most of the time, we want to be very descriptive and accurate. Never use quotation marks. Never use more than 130 characters for the entire output. Only output the image description and nothing else. So like, this is the rules. Please create one image uh, description around the topic. And then the topic here is an epic portrait photography of a, and then we're going to insert our keyword, cow king with grand scenery. The style is like Game of Thrones and fairy tale awesomeness. Click save. Let's run this once and let's trigger it again. Now we got a majestic cow with a golden crown standing proud on a rocky cliff surrounded by misty mountains and a dramatic sunset sky. Coolios. We're then gonna add a transform to JSON object because we're gonna be calling the ideogram API um, through an HTTP node and just taking text output from um, this node here and inputting it into the HTTP node will work most of the time. But if the AI suddenly adds quotation marks or height, like some random character that is not allowed, then everything will fuck up. So we add this transform to JSON and we take the result and we put it in there. Awesome. Then we add our HTTP node and that is this one down here. Make a request, sends an HTTPS request to a specific URL and processes the response. Great. Let's just go down here. First of all, I always said parse JSON to yes on these ones. Then the ideogram API. First of all, the URL is going to be HTTPS API.ideogram.ai forward slash generate. And it's going to be a post method. The setup is that you're going to have headers here. And I have three headers. First header is API key. And we're going to get that in a second. The second one is accept JSON applica or application for slash JSON. Third is content type application JSON. Let's grab our API key first. And you're going to go to ideogram. And even though you are subscribed to whatever ideogram here, that doesn't mean that you have API credits. Go down here and find API beta then you would need to fund your account. So add money to it. And from here, uh, just manage payment, use this one. And it opens a Stripe link and you're good to go. Then create an API key. Let's do that. Let's copy this. This will only be shown once. Go here, copy, close, go back here. Let's paste in our API key. Let's just click save for now so we don't lose that. Great. We can now call ideogram here on generate with a post. So now we need to set up the body type it has to be raw content type JSON applic or application class JSON. And then we have our request content. So the JSON here and it is written like this. You should go to the documentation, which is here, you can find a link Boop, over here, click on generate over here. And you'll see examples of different JSON formats. And you can look over here on the image request and expand all these and see all the different settings. For example, aspect ratio, there are only so many aspect ratios that you can use there here, the different models you can use V2 is the most expensive and best. For example, magic prompt option, auto on and off, and so forth. So please go through the documentation and see all the settings. So it looks like this. And the model is V2. Magic prompt option is set to auto. Aspect ratio 9 by 16, because I want portrait photos. The style type is set to auto. I would probably in this instance set it to realistic. Let's just keep it to auto. And then the prompt is the JSON. And when you add in a transform to JSON, you should not have quotation marks because this node over here, this node, that one there, automatically adds quotation marks to it. So no quotation marks on that one. Let's click OK, click Save. 
Let's run once and see if we can generate an image. There we go. And it is generating. I'll just pause the video for a sec. There we go. One image done. Let's expand, come on, expand data, go down. And here's the link. Can't remember if, yeah, that opened. So that is a cow king. It is not very fairy tale like. So my prompt might need to be updated a bit. But let's see if um, with a real proud rock. Yeah, I did update the prompt here a bit. Anyways, we will now add the HTTP get file. You can find it here HTTP get file, first one. <clears throat> and we will add here the URL. So expand the data here and click URL, click OK. The next one is the convert to JPEG. So file should be this one, output format uh, JPG, JPEG. It's just, it generates them in PNG and it just saves a lot of space and hassle convert. Like I always convert it to JPEG because I like the smaller sizes. This is where it's gonna differ a bit. If you have air tables, you're gonna use an air table node to upload. In my instance for AI table, it has to be a double uh, HTTP request. So if you were using Airtable, you do Airtable and then update a record and then add in the image. But I am gonna do it in another way because yeah, for AI tables, we have to do it in this way. So first of all, I'm gonna have to add the API URL. We need the datasheet ID. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna fix the datasheet ID or copy that, and paste that in. Then I'm gonna need my AI table API key. And I'm finding this by going to my settings, going to developer and copying my API key. I'm just gonna paste in um, because I don't wanna reset it right now. Um, then item two, content type, multi-part uh, form data. Then body type is multi-part slash form data. Fields, we have item one, which is type file, key file. Then I'm gonna map the data to this one. And the file name, I'm gonna set to my keyword. So that's just gonna be cow.jpg. Yep. And I only have hard-coded uh, JPEG here because I know I have this in front. So I'm just gonna pause and put in my API key. Awesome. And the same is done for this one because the first one we upload the image to AI tables and in the next one we, um, we set or we append the uploaded image to the actual uh, record cell that we need. We're gonna need the data sheet here again and paste that in here. And then it's gonna be a patch method. Authorization is gonna add the API key later. Content type, application JSON. Body type, raw, content type here. Then <clears throat> it's gonna look like this. We have the record ID. I'm gonna scroll down and find my record ID here. Then we have a field here called image. I'm just gonna double check that this is called image, correct. We don't have these yet, but they are correct. So name is gonna be the name from this upload file here. Size is gonna be from this one. Uh, M-I-M-E type, we're gonna pull this, this from the upload as well. Token, width, and height, all those variables are coming. Like all these variables here, they're pulled from this node over here. So once we upload this one, we can then add them over here. And they are already linked correctly because we can see it's number seven. It's from this one over here. And I didn't save that. So I'm just gonna paste that in there. Set the record ID again. And then the last one is we will update the generate prompt. Let me just see if that is correct. I'll just copy the name for good measure's sake. Paste that in, yeah. And then we will not add quotation marks here 
because we'll just add the JSON or we could add the kind of depends. Okay, let me, instead of that, we will actually add quotation marks and use this prompt here. And then it's gonna be closed off like so. There we go, click OK, save. And now we are done. So let's turn this on. Let's go back here. Let's go to I diagram. No, sorry, AI tables. And let's click generate here. Let's click into it. See, this should be generating here. Let's just pause. And now it's continuing, uploading and adding the image. Let's go back here and see what we got. We have a cow and then majestic cow wearing a crown. Now we can go back here and we can then trigger for a dog, for a dragon, for a deer and generate a lot of images. So now these will run simultaneously um, and we can start to create a lot of images based on these frameworks. We got the images, dog king, a dragon king and a deer king. So not actually what I was going for. I might want to add like, uh, maybe it should be a humanoid dog thingy instead. So it's more like fairy tale ish. So let's see an epic of a humanoid dog king cow king grand scenery fairy tale let's try that click save go back angler fish let me generate the cow again and the dog again and see what that let's take blue whale and albatross as well let's see what we got here Meh, not an angler fish that's more like it blue whale so there we go Meh. Missed the mark a bit. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So this is how it works. You can download this script in our free community. And if you want other free stuff, you can find that in the community. We have um, automated um, blogging systems and a lot of other stuff. You just go to scale by tech for slash free stuff. Pretty sure that's it. Scale by tech and then free stuff. Free stuff, there we go, yeah. Free dash stuff, and you can sign in here. There's a link in the description as well. And if you want all the uh, all the advanced stuff, you can go to the APC platform, okay? So, hope you like this. Um, let me know in the comments if you wanna see something else. Have a great day.